First go after Rush Limbaugh, God said. 75% of all Americans on the minimum wage are teenagers in their first job. So where did Rush get his statistic? Well, he got it directly, you know, from his butt. <laughs> In the wake of the fifth anniversary of 9-11, political satirist, Air America talk show host, and former Saturday Night Live writer Al Franken has a beef to pick with President Bush. The star of the upcoming documentary, And God Spoke, which follows Franken on his book tour, Lies and the Lying Liars Who Tell Them, says Bush blew an opportunity to lead the world. I think we all remember how we felt on 9-12. We we're all Americans. We we're all united. We really were. And not only that, but the world, virtually the entire world was behind us. And um, Bush was handed this, this opportunity, this golden opportunity on a silver platter to lead. If we had a real leader then, someone would have united, you know, with the united uh, America and the world behind us, could have, in a spirit of mutual purpose and mutual sacrifice, really could have led the world. And he blew it by hijacking 9-11 for his own petty political purposes. And I'll never forgive him for that. Franken actually met the president face to face when he was covering a political event for George Magazine. You know, the, that's when the cocaine stuff was starting to flow around. I said, I, look, I, I don't care if you did cocaine when you were younger. But since we're here in Iowa, I have to ask you, have you ever uh, manufactured any crystal meth? And he laughed, and I was hoping he'd say no. So I could say, well, then why won't you answer the Coke question? But he, he see, he outsmarted me. He, he didn't answer. And God Spoke opens September 13th in theaters. Personally. I'm thinking of uh, running in 2008 against North Carolina.